Hello everybody, this is Mr. Manager Capri. In this lesson you will learn about the electromagnetism around a wire with current. You'll learn about the shape and the direction of the magnetic field around the wire and how you can predict the direction of the magnetic field around the wire if you know the current direction. In 1821, Hans Christian Orsted accidentally discovered the magnetic field around a current carrying wire. He found that when he placed a compass near a current carrying wire, the needle of the compass which is a tiny magnet, was deflected. When he put several compasses around the wire, he noticed that the shape of the magnetic field was circular. As I've said before, the magnetic field around a conductor is circular, but it's also perpendicular to the wire and it's discontinuous. And this means there are gaps in the field. Physicists use the north pole of a compass to determine the direction of the magnetic field. So if a compass is placed in front of a wire with current, and the north pole points to the left, then we know the direction of the magnetic field in that location. Another method for finding the direction of the magnetic field around a wire is a little trick called the first left-hand rule. In this example, we see a wire with current going up and its four rings of magnetism. In order to find the direction of the magnetic field in front of the wire, we place our left-hand palm away and point our left thumb in the direction of the current. Since our four fingers are now pointing to the left, we now know that the magnetic field in front of the wire points to the left. Not only are we able to determine the direction of the magnetic field in front of the wire, but we are able to determine the magnetic field to the left and the right of the wire. Since the magnetic field is pointing to the left in front of the wire, it must point into the screen on the left and out of the screen on the right. Here is a practice question to test what you've learned. All four choices show a wire with current going upward. Right away you should be able to eliminate two answer choices. We can eliminate questions A and C because the magnetic field is not circular and perpendicular to the wire. The only two possible choices are B and D. The correct answer is D. When we put our left palm facing away and our thumb pointing in the direction of the current, our four fingers are pointing to the left. This shows the direction of the magnetic field in front of the wire points to the left. Use the first left-hand rule to pick the correct answer. Click on the slide to get a hint. The only two possible choices are A or D. This is because these are the only two choices that have a circular magnetic field. The answer choice is D. With your left palm facing away and your thumb in the direction of the current, we see that the magnetic field in front of the wire points up. The left-hand rule can also be used to determine the direction of the current. Placing our left palm away and our four fingers to the right, we see that the direction of the current in the wire points downward. 